you say that? Do you do you take him for what he's done, or do you give him the benefit of the doubt? Like, okay, this guy gonna change. He played like this the last five six years, I know, but what's he gonna do these next five six years? Okay, in front of him? okay I'm, I'm gonna flip the script on you on that. Mm -hmm. Um, as opposed to looking for you know paying, you know, can you justify not paying him for what he's done? Yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, it is a lonely draft. draft. It's a it's very lonely like, draft. I'm Welcome to another session with them Dennis boys. You got your boy B. Debo. EJ. Coming to talk to y'all to talk about Dak to see if he deserves another contract extension with us, man. I don't know myself. Um, I've been split and kind of torn with this decision. So what y'all fellas think about? Hey, Debo. I mean, <laughs> um, I guess now that we've had some time, you know, to cool down about, you know, how the last season ended. Mm -hmm. Um, how I really feel about it. Mm, my mind say no, but my heart say yeah, only because is there a better quarterback than him? Mm, probably not. Um, you don't want to waste the young, the younger guys' years trying to find something new. Uh, mm. I just hope he can just get over that whatever that hump is. That's that's just my biggest thing. But um, I kind of feel like we're forced to sign him anyway to the extension just to open up some more money uh, for the for the future guys that we got to sign anyway. So it's kind of like we really don't even really have a choice. So that's my take on it. <sighs> Where do I begin? Um. Dak, I guess when we think of Dak, um, a lot of people have a lot of opinions about Dak, and they voice those opinions pretty much, and they go from here to there in terms of you know how people feel. Um, I think what gets lost in the process uh, and the thought is that um, you know people have a tendency by nature you could do five good things and one bad thing. And they're gonna remember you for that bad thing. Yeah, and especially think, your Cowboys quarterback. Yeah, right. and one of the most highest profile positions in the game. In sports. In sports, period, right. And I think in a lot of cases with that, that's happened. Um, people tend to let um some of his negative moments overshadow the good. And a matter of fact, they, they don't talk a lot about the good. Um, if you guys would indulge me for a second, let me impart a little bit of information from Pro Football Focus. Feel free. I'd, uh, I'd like to. Um, for instance, Dak had more passing yardage than Lamar Jackson, Brock Purdy, and Josh Allen. He outpassed all of those. Um, of the three above, only had a higher passer rate. Only one of them had a higher passer rating. And that was um, Purdy with a 113 uh, pass rate to Dax 105.9. Um, of the three above, only one had less interceptions. And that was Lamar Jackson, seven to Dax nine. Um, pro Football Focus, which is the quote unquote 
uh, guru in terms of uh, performances in the, in the NFL mm -hmm. uh, had uh, passer rate at had, had a had a QBR for Allen Josh Allen a ninety two point one uh, QBR for um, uh, what's the dude's name uh, Jackson of ninety point four. Mm -hmm. um, and Mahomes had a 90.5, and Dak came in at a 90.0. Now, that's QBR rating for the league, top four. Dak is in that number. And you can think of top, off the top of your head a number of names that's missing from that scenario there. Um, if not for those games against San Francisco, uh, Green Bay, and Buffalo, you know, we'd be having different conversations about Dak, even though all of those weren't entirely his fault. Uh, people have a tendency to, like I said earlier, remember your um, your, your your bad days. Um, like the, everybody's having a hard time getting those interceptions from last year out, out of their head. And, and matter of fact, I think if both people are honest, they were just waiting for him to throw that first interception this year to think like, oh, well, here we go again. But um, I just read to you what the interception um, ratio was and, and numbers. So, you know, he came in um, second only to uh, 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 Jackson. So I say all this to say that um, Dak has accomplished a lot, and a lot of his accomplishments get obscured in uh, the fact that he's a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys and the standards are high and um, they're not, they're less willing to accept, um, any mediocrity, um, uh, that other quarterbacks are afforded with people don't even have an, hardly even look at it or even mention, but because he's in a high profile position, he's in, um, he's going to be outstanding. But mm -hmm. those, those numbers I just quoted you pretty much shows that he's one of the top or one of the best quarterbacks in the league based on the numbers. And according to my oldest son, the numbers don't lie, which he reminds us over and over again. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the facts is the facts. So, you know. Yeah. Proof is in the pudding. Yeah, numbers don't lie. But, I mean, the, the thing with Dak, man, is he has great regular seasons. You know what I'm saying? And that gets us – give us hope every year and hoping that, you know, like, hey, this might be the new Dak. This might be the new season. We get to that postseason, we might finally do it, and then it'd be the same thing, you know what I'm saying? And 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 it takes us up higher and higher and higher and drops us even further every year, you know what I'm saying? Like this year, I, I really was bought in, you know what I'm saying? Like everything seemed to be in place, right? But I, but I mean, I mean, me. if you you know, that uh, I, I, I've never seen Dak tackle anybody. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying it's all on Dak, but at the same time, he doesn't play defense. He doesn't play defense, but at the same time, he doesn't. He doesn't elevate his game either in the playoffs. So that's 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 his his part of it. At the same time, we have we thought we had elite defense, but we have a glaring problem that you know. And that's part of my damage. problem. What you just said is that he doesn't elevate his game, but as a team, we don't elevate our game. You know. Yeah, but let let me let me say this too, like and how you how y'all supposed to look at it also is although y'all saying that it ain't all on deck, but why is he being one of the top paid players in the league? Like, so if you if you're trying to hold him at the standard of being the best quarterback in the league, then then we also have to put you on that pedestal also when it comes time to play against those big teams. Can you show up? Thanks. But you got to look at the fact that quarterbacks are paid based off of the, who, what the highest quarterback is at the time. It's not his fault that he got that contract um, the way he did and as much money he's got paid. The, that's what the market says he should have been paid. Well, that, that, that opens up the conversation to a whole different thing then because, you know, Pat Mahomes, he ain't getting but like 42, 43 this year. So he, he definitely, no doubt, is the top quarterback in the league. Right. So. But he's he's got that, he's got that should be the standard. So yeah, but he wanted he wanted years, so he got a lot of years on that contract, you know. And it's kind of hard to put a figure for the number of years he got. We got like a ten year contract. 
was yeah. up there. And it's kind of hard to put it. It's kind of hard to put a number like 50, 50 million a year on a 10 year contract. I mean, that's just like mind blowing, you know. Hey, so, and, I, and I give him his props. I mean, you know, he did. Hey, he man, when you come in with a Super Bowl shoe, you know you ain't going nowhere else. <laughs> when that the really wasn't much to talk about, right? Yeah, yeah. but I mean, you know, contract really getting them at a discount. Yeah, contract <laughs> pretty Big much time. you know built off of you know what the last and the best was for the top tier quarterback. But you know, if you're not if you're not producing, you're not even in that con con uh, conversation in terms of uh, compensation. You got to be your numbers got to dictate that that's what you deserve. And based on what we see from Dak in terms of some of the numbers I just related to you and his 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 record, I mean, he deserves to be one of the top tier high paid quarterback. What he gets is, you know, is a different story. But I mean, you're paid by trending by what's trending at the time in terms of what compensation for quarterbacks are. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like when when is the standard gonna change? Like what should you be paying somebody based on the goal you're trying to achieve or should you be trying to pay them based on their individual goals? You know what I'm saying? Because if you're paying them based on individual goals, you, you're paying them based on the regular season and what right. they accomplish. I mean, I think it's a combination of both, really. I mean, you got to take all to it. What do, what do you, what, what, what are your, um, how do you project that person to, to play out over the years? How do you project him to, to, to be able to uh, uh, lead your team and to be able to be productive for that number of years, all of that's got to come into play as well as what you've accomplished to that point. So, 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 so that. do you do you take him for what he's done? Or do you give him a benefit of the doubt? Like, okay, this guy gonna change. He played like this the last five, six years, I know. But what is he gonna do these next five, six years okay, in front of him? Okay, I'm I'm gonna flip the script on you on that. Mm -hmm. Um as opposed to looking for, you know, pay him, you know, can you justify not paying him for what he's done? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, it, it, it is a lonely draft. draft. It's a very it's lonely like, draft. I mean, if you look at, if, if, if you look at, if, if you look at the, the standards, if you look at the trends, if you look at the, uh, the quarterback compensation, over the years, and you look at what Dak has accomplished, and I'm just talking to him now, and well, not just him, but what the team has accomplished with him as quarterback. I mean, it's kind of hard to de to deny that man that salary because you you're going to be rating the other people based on the same thing uh, as it relates to their respective teams. Yes, our team hasn't performed to that standard, but based on um, what we've done for where we are, we're no longer eight and eight team. That eight and eight is going to a twelve and five team, which is quite an achievement in terms of upgrowth. So you have to take all that. If you're making progress, and we are making progress, despite the fact that we can't advance past the uh, first or second round of playoff, we are getting to the playoffs now on a yearly basis. That's become a trend. Our record has upshot. That's become a trend. So you're, you're trending up with, um, you know, a couple breaks here and there. We're not having this conversation, uh, not well, except for that Green Bay game. I mean, that was just terrible, you know. Right. I mean, that's just, you, you can't find nothing but, positive about that game. But for a perfect example, with the Green Bay situation, like they got Jordan Love, who outplayed Dak, and we're – on the opposite end, we were like, if we go with a, a younger quarterback and try to build something there, like a CJ Stroud or something like that, if you get someone in that aspect or somewhere in that lane, then we 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 right back to twelve and five. See what I'm saying? So or, or better, or better. I mean, so <laughs> like, do you go younger and then you'll still have the money to pay these other guys that you know you got to keep, such as and Deron Bland? Like, and, if you brought in a quarterback that is technically sound. And and that's been you know coasted up pretty well, and he, and and Mike McCarthy can get him and and mold him like he wants, right? With the the weapons we got, it, it can it can look a lot different, a lot better. Honestly, it really could. And I'm willing to believe, like man, if we went in that direction of just go ahead and changing quarterbacks, also 
I just feel like we'll be able to pay who we need to pay now. They're going to get older by the time it's time to pay the quarterback, whoever we bring in, and, and, and I think we'll be right back on track the way we need to be. We really yeah, we never know. We might have some big success. The timing really is horrible. For, really, really horrible. It is very bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah. bad. But I mean, if you look at it, if you look at it, better, based on what you were just saying, if you look at a lot of other quarterbacks, you know, I mean, that he picked the wrong time to have a bad game. I mean, you know, that's just, that's just goes to but say. But that, that. that wasn't the only one, though, against all contending teams, it was the same result. That's the thing that's like it was the three games I mentioned earlier. The same you can play okay one or two games when you're going against all plus five hundred teams. Mm. It's hard to fight for somebody like that. But right. are all those losses on that. No, Think but he I mean we that the, the, the that, Green Bay game that, that, we can throw that out the window because we he even if he wanted to do better <laughs> He, we were out that game before we even knew it. I mean, that was just yeah. That but was, he also could have shot us into that game too. Uh, I don't know. You you can't know. you can't. Green Bay was on a whole nother level you, that day. It's okay to throw a pick, but you cannot throw no pick six. No, no. <laughs> I, mean, Maybe, pick six. I mean, I mean, all quarterbacks throw pick sixes at some. Yeah, point. but in a game like that though, I, well, I mean, we already said he had a bad pick a bad day to have a bad game. All quarterbacks have bad games. But he continuously had those kind of games, though. Like it looked the same every time. Every time he plays somebody, every time, like it just, no, he's, he's that much noticeable because he's the quarterback for your team, all right? <laughs> but if you if you look at the numbers that I gave you earlier, that tells you he's not the only one to have those games. But those mm-hmm. other quarterbacks are winning in December and January. And those and, and those other and defenses don't, don't and give to up, be honest, don't give up thirty and forty points a game either. To to be honest, we'll be having a different conversation too if he was to win that game right there. Like if he wins that Packers game and put us in back in the NFC Championship game, then we we I think we all be satisfied. You know what no, I mean? Because it's like we right back where we were last year. If so, he would if he would have won that game and, and had a, a, a hard fought game against the 49ers or whoever would have played, right. I would have gave him some respect. I'd be like, okay, exactly. cool. Now I need a defense, we gotta fix that hole, and then we'll be all right. Exactly. So yeah. it just yeah. like I said, yeah, if you I win that like, game. I don't have an argument for what you guys just said. I mean, you're right. You know, it's uh, I mean, if he'd have beat San Francisco earlier in the year, if he'd have beat Buffalo, we played Buffalo, right. you know. And lost to Green Bay, <laughs> we wouldn't feel it different. <laughs> it uh, I, I, I honestly think he he need to let they need to let him play his contract out. You know, from a business standpoint, franchise yeah. standpoint, let him play it out. And if 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 last next year looks like this last year, bye. Them get out of there. I, I, I can I can agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah. Um, but the other question is, you know, what you feel that what you feel that old with. Trey Lance. Trey Lance. <laughs> what? Hey, what, but what? Honestly, though, what if Trey Lance come into camp and look Trey like Trey Lance old... is a cast off gentleman? He's he that hey, got his boy he off to get trained. Hey, let, 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 let me go. On, let me go and put this in the air. Go ahead. And this has been the same little, I guess, same little cycle as as always. Mm-hmm. You know, when when Tony Romo came in and took whoever job. When Dak came in, took Romo job, like it just uh, they all on their last year contract, and then hey, deuces. Tony so, Romo came out of college. Uh, 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 Trey Lance came from a team in which he was the starter for, and he went from the starter. He didn't get a fair chance. He didn't get a fair chance, and that man was injured too. Like so, you got to put all that in perspective. Yeah, I'm, give him I'm, really, I'm really anxious to see because we we'll have to we we'll have to de- agree to disagree on that. One. And, and, I, I, and you and you got to trust you got to trust Will McClay. You, you you know when he pulled the trigger on something, you know it's, it's something there. They see something, so Boy, therefore I want to see man. it. Hey, you got to first find the talent to be able to pull the trigger on it. And man, he know man, out, trust, he was probably scouting this boy in college. Trust me, that's why he went and got him. So basically, yeah. what you guys are saying then, for what I'm hearing is that. Let Dak pay out his contract if he doesn't. Um, well, well, let me let me let me put it this way. Hell, he might make might, might not make it out of camp. 
They Romo didn't. I don't. I don't even want to speak. That's to how that. that that's <laughs> how that became the quarterback. If Trey Lance go out there ball in the camp, no comment on that. Okay. That wow. hey, that that's how that <laughs> took over on Romo. See, see, see you two guys right here. Okay. Y'all know why we having this conversation okay. right now. Y'all okay. exactly why we what, what triggered this conversation. They gonna pull that boy what Trey out that garage, and the they gonna be like, "Ooh, that's that 2025 Ferrari." <laughs> Right. Hey, y'all putting that uh, y'all y'all putting that bad mojo out there, my man. Y'all putting that bad mojo. I'm putting that crown on Trey. That bad come out there. I'm rooting for Trey. I ain't gonna lie. Could that would save us so much money? All we gotta do is some some receivers. Oh my goodness. Pay pay Micah. Pay uh CD. Oh my goodness. Oh, so based on based on what you're saying now, if uh Dallas Cowboys. Cut that Prescott. No, you trade him. I'll trade him for a trade him. Yeah. Second round. Second second round pick. I'll take a second and a third. I take I take a third or a fourth. Because you you already you know you got a quarterback and they know you're trying to get rid of him. So you're not gonna get two first round for him. You know, True. you might get one, one and a and a third, maybe. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what you get for that. You're right. I mean, I would I would act for a lot. Given given the number of good quality quarterbacks out there, you'd be surprised what you get. For a top, remember now he's top tier, gentlemen. I gave you the numbers earlier. He's top tier quarterback. He's not a garbage that you. He's not a Trey Lance being cast off. I mean, I, I probably try to trade him to somewhere where someone got a, a dog D tackle that I can get for him. Honestly, true. You know what I'm saying? So that that what I'll be gunning for. Very true. Yeah, and I'll be game over then. So it sounds like in you guys' mind, you ready for that press shot to be gone. I just want the best for the organization. Man, you That's just traded for a deep tackle. You just traded for a It was an Aaron Donald? Hell yeah. I trade two decks for him. Hey, man. <laughs> and, and have nobody to run the team, right? <laughs> Pretty man. Or, dra- or draft one. Let's go yeah. on seven. On draft the one. Who's going to start playing seven on seven? Dra- draft right around the corner. Man, if you go ahead, if you draft, you go ahead and draft you a, a, a top notch receiver in the first two rounds. Get you a running back, maybe Derrick Henry. Get one of my linemen is pretty deep now. I'm doing my research. Linemen is pretty deep. Nigga, some nice mm-hmm. ones, real nice ones. Yeah, they have some good ones coming out this year. Yeah, so Trey Lance going to be set up real nice. And that mm-hmm. boy got some wheels on him. Like, right. And he, <laughs> he legit, man. And I've been waiting for a mobile quarterback, boy. God. He's yeah, like 6'3", 225, running 4'4". Four, four. Come on, Yes, man. sir. <laughs> that is broken. Huh? Dak is mobile. No, he not. No, nah, he ain't mobile like this. Dak hey, like, he, hey, he don't, he don't run a full three forty, but he can. And that boy, that boy, boy hits the big. Y'all just don't speed. think he moves enough. That's what it is. Yeah, he, he tried to stand in the pocket too long instead of just getting what you can get. Hey, At least he roll out, man. All right, these quarterbacks, man. These, he out, these boy, newfound, man. these newfound, these yeah. newfound quarterbacks, man. They, they don't sit in the pocket no more. If they don't see hey, it, they gone. Dak, Dak rolled out more this year. He ran more this year that we're accustomed to see him doing. So that's that's but by consistency. Him. He did it for a little streak and then he stopped. Right. We were rolling. We were, doing, think, we were rolling. Which I think comes back to my point too about I think he probably just chasing stats too. That's hey, why those stats look like that. Hey, they sit in their pocket trying to make the yards versus because he getting the stats. Hey, we ain't saying that it ain't, but we're just saying that the fact that you sitting in the pocket too long and you sometimes you make the wrong decision at the wrong time. What quarterback in the NFL hasn't done that? We watched we watched Mahomes more interception that he shouldn't have thrown in in the Super Bowl. Uh, that that could have been really detrimental to them. Every all, every quarterback make yeah, mistakes. He ain't got no weapon either. It made it happen. I mean, it's a part of the game. It's gonna happen. You know, yeah. you got to live with it. You just hope that your team is able to overcome those short shortcomings and to be successful. But you know, hey. But anyhow, that's my yeah. spiel on Dak Prescott. Hey man, I just want the best for the organization, man. If Dak is gonna be the one to lead us there, I'm all for it. But if not, get his ass out the way. But right. on that note right there, we appreciate y'all joining us on another session. Y'all let us know what y'all think about it in them comments. Like, subscribe, man. Until next time.